Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Road Support. In this video I'm just going to take you through using the tabs and accordion blocks within Pillar for WordPress. Okay, so to begin with I'm going to create a new page for the sake of the video. Let's give it a title, Dan's Tab Demo. And much like any other page, we, we start by adding in the Visual Composer block itself. So let's pop that in. And what we're referring to is the ones that we provide with the theme. So you can see here we've got the tab and accordion block. So we'll start off with the accordion. You can see we've got different options. So we can have um, the accordions open or we can just have one open at a time, which is the way I personally prefer it. So we'll, we'll go with that. And once we've added the accordion block, we then can start adding content blocks within that. So we hit the plus icon here. We add the accordion content block and here we can start adding our own text etc so we'll give it a title I'll grab some blurb hit save and we'll take a look and see what that looks like okay so you can see we've got a single accordion there Pretty much self-explanatory, works very well. Uh, let me just quickly change the title type. There we go. So we'll, we'll continue adding to this. Um, with Visual Composer, you do have a very handy little feature to just clone the previous block. So I will do that and just call this Accordion 2. If you refresh the page, you can see that's how it all works there. Now just to demonstrate the difference between the two options we discussed earlier, at the moment we've got it to uh, open one at a time, which you can see there. You can choose to have multiple open at any time, so although you'll be presented with the first one open, as users click others, rather than all of them closing by the one you just clicked on, you can have them all open if you wish. Moving on to the tabs, we will add our tab block to the page. And again, we've got a few little options here just for how the tabs are laid out. I'm just going to go with the nice looking hollow tab button here. And again, we just want to add some content to that. So we click on the plus icon. And much like before, we've got an area where we can put a title. Let's put the tab one. We can put some blurb or whatever you wish. And if you've chosen the icon tab layout, you can select an icon which represents this particular tab. Uh, I'll add that just so you can see what I mean. So let's update the page and refresh. And you can see we've got our tab here. Uh, let me just clone it. So you can see two separate tabs. You can see there we've got both our tabs here. Now back in the options for the tabs where we've chosen the hollow buttons, which you can see there, uh, we do also have the icon tab option as well. So this is where the icon that you can assign to each tab comes in. So you can see when we refresh the page, each one is being visualized by a particular icon of our choosing. So let's just really drive this home and I will use this you can see you can specify a different icon as the anchor for each tab and there we go uh, that's the tabs and accordions within pillar I hope this video has been useful thanks for watching